If you guys want to win a copy of the Ultimate Edition of FIFA 19 worth around $100, all you need to do is leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Do those three things, that'll enter you into the giveaway, and I'll be sending a copy to one of you guys when the game's released. Hey guys, it's Way here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys probably the best and easiest way of making coins run out on FIFA 18. So if you guys do enjoy the video, if you do, don't forget to leave a like on it. Let's try and smash 200, that'll be much appreciated. Also, if you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe, and without further ado, let's go on into it. So we're going to be trading with high rated but cheap gold cards. Now this isn't an investment video, it's an actual trading method, but these cards are rising in value because of the new footies SBCs that we should see in early July. So we're going to be looking at anyone from 81 up to like 86 or 87. These cards are really, really cheap because of the World Cup game mode and just because of the fact it's summer. Loads of people right now are just going outside, maybe going on holiday, they have exams. My exams, my A-levels actually finished today, so loads of videos coming up for you guys soon. But uh, just because of things like that, less people are playing the game and these cards have dropped down a lot in value. So they're quite good players to trade with just because people aren't, they, they don't really care as much about the game right now. So if they just go through and clear out their club to get some coins for the World Cup game mode. They may just list some players really, really cheaply, undercut them a lot without checking their price. And you guys can find some really, really good deals. And a cool thing about this method is the players will keep rising up in the future. So if you guys want to make investments, you can pick them up by sniping them or getting them on bid. And then you can really maximize your profits. Alternatively, you can do what we're doing in this video, which is sell them quickly, flip them and make some quick coins. So what I'd recommend doing is heading over to Footbin. There'll be a link down below in the description and they have a feature that shows the cheapest players for specific ratings. As I said, we're going to be focusing on 81 up to about 87 rated gold cards. You can look through and find some really good players to trade with. I would personally recommend staying away from 83s and also a lot of the 82s that are rare. Same with the 81s. You can trade with non-rares that are 82 and 80. One, but I'd recommend personally just going with some of those higher rated cards. The rare cards are for anywhere from 81 to 83 are quite cheap. They're like 800 coins or so, and they discard for around six or 700, so you're not really making much profit. So trade with non-rare cards from 81 to 83, and then 84 up to like 87, or even higher if you want trade, obviously, with those rare gold cards. So let's just start off. Let's go with uh, an 85 rated card. One of the cheaper ones right now is you want to try and trade with people who are going to increase a lot in value, there's going to be more hype around, so preferably people in good leagues and also people in usable positions for SBCs, so maybe not goalkeepers, more kind of midfielders and things like that. And the best thing is if you can find someone with quite bad stats uh, and uh, sometimes players as well in bad leagues. I know I just said people who play in good leagues are, are going to be good for SBCs and things too, but uh, if you trade with people in really bad leagues, maybe like uh, a league that doesn't really have any other high rated gold cards in or a league people very rarely use on Ultimate Team. For example, maybe the Liga Nos. It's a good league in real life. It's got some competitive teams in there, but on FIFA no one really uses the league. And for that reason, players from those leagues aren't really kept in that high regard. So if people see one in their club, they may just list them up really cheaply thinking, I mean, they play in the Liga Nos, they're not going to go for much. Or maybe just someone with not good, not that good stats, they may also sell them on really quickly just because they don't think they'll go for much. So as an example, let's go with Glick. No one uses Glick on Ultimate Team. Uh, he's Polish, he plays for Monaco. Not many people seem to use Liga on teams. And if you are, you'd be using Marquinhos, Thiago Silva, uh, different options in the centre-back position rather than Glick. Um, I mean, he's not someone who's that easy to link in seems either. And he's got 56 pace, so you never see anyone using someone like Lick. So he's a perfect example for this, but he does still have a good league. So for SBCs, he is a good option. So it's best if you can find a mix of players who are going to be useful for SBCs by playing in good leagues, but they aren't really used that often in teams. So Glick's currently going for about 3.5k. So I can sell them for that. What you want to do is undercut these cards by a couple of hundred coins. So if I can get one for maybe like 3.2k or below, I can sell that for a few hundred coins profit and I would definitely take that. So you've got a few ways of sniping. You can either just bring the maximum by now down a little bit. So 3.2k there. Bring the maximum price up and then just gradually bring it down like this in your search and get players. The way I like to snipe, it just works a little bit easier, uh, is just by going to the 59th minute and just get it so you've got a few cards on the market like this. So bring the price down to the lowest price you can find cards on the market for. Press the button to compare price on Xbox, that is X, and then press B or whatever the button is to go back. And this way you can just refresh the market and anyone new that pops up you will see. Alternatively, you can press Y to go to your transfer targets and back. I mean, they're very, very similar options to sniping, but they work really well. And you just want to do this until a player pops up. You can also bid on these cards and I'll show you guys a couple of examples in just a moment but 
I personally prefer sniping, as you can normally get better deals that will make you more profit. There we go, guys. I've got a deal. It only took me, I'd say, maybe a minute or so, and we got a click for 2,000 coins. That is a great deal, and I can sell them for about 1.3k profit, I think, after tax. Uh, obviously, we lose 5%. Lose so that's a really, really good deal, and that's a perfect example of how effectively this method works. I'll list that card for one day. And uh, that's a, a great deal there. First one, and we've already made over a thousand coins profit. And I think the reason this works really effectively right now, unlike a lot of other trading methods, because with so few people playing the game, or so few in comparison to the past couple of months, a lot of trading methods aren't working as well. I think with this one, it's because so many people are getting World Cup packs on the regular version of Ultimate Team from opening the packs. They get like a 5k or a 7.5k pack. From doing that, they open packs on here, but they're not really too focused on the regular version of Ultimate Team. They're playing the World Cup mode, so they just list the cards they get super, super cheaply without really checking what they sell for. And because of that, you can you can really snatch up some great deals and you can pick up on their, their mistakes, making profit. So if you're still playing the regular version of Ultimate Team, this is perfect. And even if you're not, this is perfect for you. If you're playing the World Cup game mode and you want to get some more packs, just head over to the normal version of Ultimate Team and you can really kind of take advantage of other people's mistakes and other people's kind of lack of concentration or lack of knowledge in the market. Make a load of coins, open a ton of packs and maybe do some icon SBCs or something on the World Cup mode. Uh, and obviously we've got like the festival of football coming up on Ultimate Team. We've got footies, lots of promos. So it's a good time to make yourself some coins right now. I'm really low on coins because I've been doing loads and loads of packs and SBCs on the World Cup game mode. Hence why I now have the likes of Pele, Maradona, Messi and loads of sick players on there. So I want to get stocked up again for footies so I can bring you guys videos because I've got a lot of spare time ahead of me now that I've finished my exams. So I'm getting coins stacked up. I recommend that you guys do exactly the same. So I've shown you guys a deal with Glick by obviously sniping. I also want to show you guys that you can bid on these cards. So for this, put your maximum price to what you try and snipe the card for. So I said 3.2k or below. So you can just go through and uh, just bid on loads of players. So there weren't really too many here for me to bid on. I'm not going to bid on these ones just because then I'd be using all my coins up. But just so you guys can see, you can go through and just put like a 3k bid maybe on all these players. Or even lower, you could go like 2.5k because a lot of people aren't playing the game right now you're going to have less competition so you can get some really nice deals there. So just go through and bid. It's another really, really easy way of making coins. This method also works insanely well with non-rare cards that are high rated. So you've got 81, 82 and also the odd 83 and 84 rated cards that are actually non-rare. And loads of these are getting packed in the 5k and 7.5k packs from the World Cup mode. So you see a lot of these on the market, but for some reason, non-rares are actually more expensive than a lot of the rares on the market, so they're really good ones to trade with. And obviously, because they have a lower discard price, they can be listed lower. Some people will list them very cheaply, and you get good deals. So Aaron Ramsey, he's 82 rated and going for 1,000 coins. You can get an 83 rated rare card for about 800, 750. But these cards there, they're going for, for quite a good amount. I'm not sure why, maybe people are trying to build non-rare teams or something at this stage of the game. But as you guys can see, you've got a lot of cards for 1.1k. So I can go, obviously go to the 50th minute, I can try and snipe some of these cards and that was going to be very, very easy. You will see cards with non-rares coming up for like 350, 400 coins very, very regularly. Uh, especially with like the 81s, you've got people like Lovren, uh, Kalinic, uh, Kramaric as well, Fernandez. Um, loads and loads of different people. Check Footbin, you'll find a ton of great players to trade with. Dante is another one. I've made some coins with him in the past. Um, but yeah, you just want to try and snipe these cards. You'll get some very, very cheap deals. And bidding on them is even better because people just don't really like... Who's going to be bidding on an Aaron Ramsey at this stage of FIFA? Apart from you guys, because you're going to be the ones making coins. Go through and bid on these cards and you can get some really... Uh, nice coins very very easily. I mean you can have so little competition It's extremely extremely easy and you can also do this with the really high rated cards, too um, So let's go down. I'm gonna scroll down to like 87s. So they're going for about 10k right now Let's pick a player at random. Let's go with Iniesta. Iniesta the legend retiring. Well actually not retiring He's, he's left Barcelona, but he's going to play for the same team I think it's Podolski, um, I'm not sure what they're called, but a team in Japan. Uh, but anyway, Iniesta, 9k right now. Undercut that, try and snipe him for like 8.5k or below. You've got yourself uh, a good filter there. There's just loads of filters you can go through and make yourself. Very, very easy. Um, alternatively, you can do this. Maximum price, 8.5k. And just spam bids on all these players. It's so, so easy. Go like 7k. 8k something like that and you're making about a thousand coins on all these players it is an extremely easy way of making coins and that's just one player 
So looking at Footbin, I can see 87s. We've got Testegen, Insigne, Verratti, Hamchik, Eriksen, Vidal, Mertens, Rakitic and PK all around a similar price. You can do exactly the same for any of them. That's just with 87s. We've got 86s, 88s, 85s, 84s, so many different players. Every single one of these, go through, pick a player, try and snipe them, try and get them on bid. If you don't get too many deals, just move on. And you can go through the whole list of players you can see here and you can try out different players and uh, just make yourself a load of coins. It is extremely easy and uh, right now, given a lot of methods aren't working, this is one I would 100% recommend you guys trying out. Also bear in mind these players are probably going to increase in value in the next couple of days and weeks. So if you guys want to make some investments, maximize your profits, get them now using the bidding and sniping method I've shown you to get them really cheaply and you can make more coins in the future. And as I said earlier on, if you do want to find out more about the footies promo, the cards we could potentially see as well as the SBCs and just more about the promo, there'll be a link down below to an informative video on that and there'll also be a link to an investment video showing you guys the best players in my opinion to invest in. Obviously they're going to be high rates of gold cards but there are some standout options that I show you guys in that video as well as a few special card investments as well. But anyway, I do hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Let's try and smash 200. And now that I've got my A-levels out of the way, I've got about a year and a half ahead of me because I'm taking a gap year. So much time, so I'm going to get loads of videos out. And also, sorry about having a bit of a lack recently of videos. Obviously, with exams, it's been hard. Uh, I had issues with my PC over the past week, which I've eventually managed to resolve, but that's been really annoying. It's made video recording and editing really hard. And also, I've uh, been watching those of the World Cup probably a bit too much. I think I've watched every game so far of the World Cup. Um, but because of that, I have been lacking, or slacking rather. But nowadays, I've got loads of time, so no excuses. Video's out every single day. Uh, we're also doing really well in terms of sub growth recently. Um, I was going through a bit of a bad phase on YouTube the past month or so, losing a few subscribers, not getting many views, but it's been awesome with the FIFA 19 hype, uh, trading hype, you guys seem to have enjoyed the recent trading videos, uh, and the more kind of ultimate team based videos rather than the World Cup ones, um, so with all of that kind of stuff. There's a lot more hype around the channel and we're really closing in now 50,000 subs. That's been my target for the like past year or so now and we're only about 1,000 subs away now. So thanks for all the support recently. If that does continue, that would be great. And also if you want to be entered into the FIFA 19 giveaway that I announced, obviously in the intro, as I've been doing all my recent videos, I'll be picking the winner probably in about a month's time or so. All you need to do, leave a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you're new. But anyway, I've been going on for a while. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Take care.